All right, so off work. I'm at the library parking garage, which by the way is the best deal on parking for motorcycles in this city. Six dollars a day. Can't beat that. Already checked in the caviar. So probably be doing some food delivery pretty soon here. I've uh, seldom ever had to wait more than a few minutes to get some caviar orders. And uh, during the dinner time, it tends to be nonstop. So, should see some action pretty soon. God, this guy parked close. Right. If you've been to Seattle, you might have seen this building before. It's a big lopsided rectangular thing completely glass looks really cool and uh, honestly that's about all it does uh, inside it's kind of a mess lots of cool looking stuff but uh, things like come to like dead-end corners that shouldn't be there and there's places like you just like why is that next to that you know parking garage you got to go down this super steep corkscrew here Whatever. It's cheap parking. Before I get any orders, I might try and sneak off to uh, the north side, go to Ballard. Get a lot of orders around there. And uh, should be able to dodge some of the traffic. Mighty O Vegan Donuts. Even better than the non-vegan ones. I work about a block away from here. Two blocks. Yeah, I feel like this wind's gonna push me back uphill. So just on the right here is the Seattle Art Museum, the, uh, the Hammering Man statue. Kind of a landmark. There's the rest of the Sam, newer part. What's going on now? Like a hammer, Jeffrey Gibson. I don't know who that is, but that looks like some cool stuff. You should check it out. The first Thursdays of every month, uh, a lot of art museums are free or discounted. Uh, and there's a thing called the Art Walk where you can go check out studios down in Pioneer Square. And they got like free wine and crackers and all that. And you can go to the artist lofts even um, if you're invited, which is not hard to get an invitation. Um, they'll show you their work and it's like in their homes, which is pretty cool. So art scene in Seattle is actually pretty good for a small town. See the, uh, the show box. It's got a steel pulse coming up. It's the Pike Place Market right here. I'd take you through there, but I don't have an hour to kill. Ooh, there's some wind. Try to be extra nice to cyclists and give them room. Not just because I am one, because I'm also not an asshole. I hope. This is the way out to Ballard. Still waiting for orders, which is a surprise. I'm actually gonna head back. Besides, the Ballad Bridge opens and uh, it has metal grating. And I'm not sure I want to contend with that in this weather.
Right now what I'm looking out for is if uh, the person over there is going to realize I'm doing a U-turn. Oh, that helps. There is no person over there. And back downtown. It's like blowing and sucking, so it's like pushes me one way or the other. How the heck have I not gotten any orders yet? That is really strange. Because it is a weekday. Well, I figured out what was going on. It turned out I wasn't getting any orders because the app had froze up and I didn't know. I go to touch the screen and it did not respond. So I force closed it, brought it back up and um, a little wait, I got an order. Going to the Poke Bar, bar in Belltown. Belltown is, uh, well, we just went through there, you know where it is. Yeah, we're just north of there. And the Queen Anne, the lower Queen Anne area, more specifically, uptown. You can see all around us here why people ride bicycles. If I was on a bicycle right now, I would already be to the destination. Like nothing gets in your way. You just go around. I mean, you have a lot more BS to deal with, but uh, it's kind of worth it. Get off your phones, people. Super high vis helmet there. That is the Crocodile, super popular venue for music. Okay, check in at restaurant. I am at the restaurant. Hopefully nobody's gonna mind this camera on my chin. Oh, all right, thank you. Okay, 925th Avenue. Uh, 925th, 905th. Huh. Oh, yeah, that's a uh, super high rise in town. It's on the east side of the street, right next to the Eye of Sauron and the Columbia Tower, the big black tall one. 
This should be fun. And uh, this is going to require all of my patience. If there's one street that gets blocked up in rush hour, it is Fifth Avenue. Right where we are going. Whoa. Couldn't do that in a car. Okay, here we go. And I can split here, but I'm risking a ticket. There's cops that always hang around this corner every year by Westlake Center, but they're in cars. Get through. So I could pretty much lane split the whole way up there. But it just gets riskier and riskier the more you do it. Because you get people here that'll actually like turn out in front of you. Try and cut you off. gap I can sit in a bit for a bit or not. See what's this guy doing? He's trying to pinch me off. Save me some space. I think I'm just going to crawl with the traffic now. We're close enough. I need to push my luck. This is Rainier Tower. Uh, we call it the pencil building sometimes. But yeah. It comes down to a point. It's the library again. And uh, that there on the left is where we're going. One of those brand new towers. Have to get over to the left here. Okay. Let's see. Intelligent elevators. That's me. Hey. Well, careful, it's like kind of delicate there. All right, thank you. Some easy money. All right, let's get out of this illegal parking spot. Ooh, light speed. It's a titanium bike. Let's go up to Capitol Hill. It's a good place to wait. Actually, let's go wherever that says.
1043 South Jackson. We're going to Chinatown. Well, little Saigon actually. The Vietnamese town. That is the Columbia Tower. String my neck there. Yeah, um, tallest building here, 76 floors, I think. Yeah, that's where the Starbucks is on the 40th floor. City Hall, police station, police headquarters, city court, King County Jail, and now walkway. It's where they take the prisoners from the jail to the courthouse. Here we go. This is the International District. So Japantown, Chinatown, and Little Saigon. You see the street signs here in Japanese. Trying to tell them the street signs are in Chinese. And Little Saigon, they're in Vietnamese. Ten forty-three. Oh, I know where that is. It's one of the best Vietnamese buffets right there, by the way. Veggie Deli. The park over here. Oh, Veggie Deli is where we're going. I guess I knew that, right? At least my phone knew that. Hello. Hey, you have an order for caviar? Oh, the number? No, I need the I don't I don't I can I don't know what I don't. It's uh, summer rolls and spicy tofu. Okay. But bun me. Uh speak of the devil. We're going back to that tower, Columbia Tower, big black one. Well, that wasn't very nice. You can see over there, the stadium is where the Seahawks, the Sounders soccer, and uh, the Mariners play. Now right in front of us is the Smith Tower, which is the oldest one in town. I think it was built around, I don't know, turn of the century. And there's where we're going. And now, since that parking zone is for stupid taxi cabs only, I get to park on a hill. One of the steepest hills in town. Funny story, right here, some years ago when I was a bike messenger, I have a lot of stories that start like that. Uh, I was going with my friend on the street and tried to impress him. I tried to do a stoppy. It's my first time ever really trying to do a stop, and I tried that right here and totally flipped over the handlebars and ate shit. It was hilarious. I was laughing. People were like, are you okay? And I'm like, uh -huh. Yeah. That was great. Let's get this Vietnamese grub. That 
to the hungry people. Going up to the lobby in the sky. And that's it, that's the Starbucks. Hey again. Long time no see. A few days ago. Okay, thanks. Go. All right, thanks. Where to next? Something should pop up soon. It's another order. 1303 first. Over there is the viaduct. It's all closed down because we have a new tunnel underneath us. Which uh, I think I might show you later. Hey, I got a caviar pickup. See what the number is up there. So, while I was waiting for this, two orders actually popped up. So I have uh, three lined up right now. One pickup and three drops. So, start to a busy night. Go to uh, Din Tai Fung, a premier Chinese dumpling house. And our next stop is 1600 Second Avenue. Hopefully my bike won't get blown over like that sign just did. Yikes. Hey, so I have food for you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Have a good night. Thanks, you too. So all told, not a bad night. I was only out for about, I guess, three hours if you count when I was actually working. Those Din Tai Fungs ended up being a long wait. The place is crazy busy. But that's cool. I had another place. It was a long wait to, you know, not the perfect night, but it was fun. So I'm about to head home. Thought I'd show you. This is the Space Needle right there. It's uh, Seattle's number one landmark. The green glow there is the uh, Opera House. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to head off back to West Seattle using the new tunnel. And yeah, so I stopped working kind of early because I'm not wearing enough clothes and it got cold. Still kind of windy. And I do also have a 9 to 5. Yeah, I know it was red. Here's the tunnel. The long awaited tunnel. They were digging this out for a long time. 
replaces an ugly ass viaduct this uh double decker freeway thing that used to go in front of the city it's still there i think i mentioned it earlier yeah uh, that ugly mess is getting torn down and uh this thing goes uh from the north end of downtown all the way to pioneer square in the south end super convenient they're not charging a toll yet it's going to be like two or three dollars when they do um, I think motorcycles get like half price. It's not bad. But the, uh, the boring machine they used to dig the tunnel out uh, was the largest one ever made. And uh, it had a lot of trouble. The, there was one point where they actually had to dig another tunnel to rescue it and dig it out because it got blocked. But they, they made it work and got through eventually. And uh, a lot of people worry because like we're going right next to the water and what if the earthquake happens because we've been like supposed to have a big earthquake for a really really long time and uh turns out what they say is that it's actually the safest place to be during an earthquake so uh i hope by chance i will be under here if an earthquake strikes and i will hope i will then be able to get out is a fun place to speed when there's nobody around. I've gotten up to like 95 before, which is about as fast as I ever go. You know, I'm not one of these speed freaks. I'm not going to be one of those guys posting on YouTube going 160 miles per hour through traffic. You know, I just like white temp fate. You know, it's going to get you some time. Might as well not rush. See? There you go. It's free. And back into the wind. Ah. Get out of this guy's blind spot. Woo! Windy. I think I'm actually not going to go on top of the bridge because I'm freezing my damn ass off right now. The jeans I'm wearing are not the thickest. And uh, under the jacket I have a t-shirt. And I am cold. Anyhow, there's Starbucks over there. Those are the docks. This concludes your tour of downtown Seattle.